name is Lisa Canning and I'm an interior stylist here in Toronto. When it came to decorating my own patio, I was inspired by being practical for my family as well as creating a really good dynamic punch of color. For my patio, I needed really small pieces. I wanted to have some function. I wanted to be able to come out here, have a coffee in the morning, and actually use the space well, but I had to be super cognizant of space just because it's so small. So I need things that were small scale, um, as well as uh, streamlined and trendy and fun because I don't have a lot of color on my front patio. Cleaning up after a long winter is super important, so I always like to take a really good dusting and sweeping to my front patio and then um, just make sure that it's as clean as possible and then bring in all the decor elements uh, so that you are starting with a clean space and then looking great as well as being sanitary. So when it comes to outdoor furniture, you do want to be careful with the kinds of materials that you use. Things like plastics, coated metals, glass are going to be really great for you. You want to be careful of certain kinds of woods as well as ceramics because they will chip over time. Similar to how I advise my clients to decorate for the inside, for the outside you want to look at scale when it comes to small spaces. So in a small space like this, um, something very boxy or heavy wouldn't be appropriate. It would just feel like it would weigh the entire space down. So you want to look for things that are light and airy. Anything that has space through the arms or not a very heavy base on a table are going to serve you well in a small space. In a small space to incorporate greenery, you want to take advantage of as much height as possible. So think hanging planters, um, trees that are really tall, um, even just long branches that sit in a small pot on a table are going to be really great for you to incorporate greenery and take advantage of height. Latest trends for outdoor decor in 2015 certainly still include color. Color is always going to be a big trend um, because we can be a little bit more punchy. Sometimes we can be more daring when it comes to the outside just because we are in nature and it is colorful. But another big trend I would say is a recognition of continuing a modern style. So for the kind of person who has really modern taste on the inside of their home, completely extending that aesthetic to the outside. Um, I think a lot of retailers at all price points are realizing that there's a really modern, discerning consumer uh, who still wants great taste in every single area of their lives. So when you live in close proximity to your neighbors, like I do, uh, it's great to create a little bit of privacy. One way you could do that is through greenery. So some tall shrubs, tall trees will give you a little bit of privacy as well as pretty up your space with some greens. In my own space, I use these reclaimed architectural salvage doors to create a little bit of texture as well as create a little bit of intimacy. I could certainly make them even more private by adding um, translucent papers or greenery on the back of them uh, to be even more private. In terms of color scheme for an outdoor space, I would say go with what you like. So if you have color on the inside, I say bring that to the outside as well and make your decor choices very consistent in the inside and the outside. Um, but definitely on the outside is where you have opportunity for color. You can be a little bit more daring maybe. If you wouldn't do a neon inside, you might do a neon outside. So be a little bit daring because it's only out really for a couple months of the year and be playful and have fun. In a condo balcony, I think space is really the biggest challenge. You really have to look for pieces that are streamlined, that are light and airy, um, and that won't feel too cumbersome for a space. But thankfully, there are great retailers that understand this, and so there's a lot on the market available to a condo owner. 
would say when it comes to outdoor decor that you just have fun. It's an area that we don't use too, too much in a climate like Canada. And uh, so then you can just kind of be playful, use colors that you wouldn't use maybe normally, um, even, even styles that you wouldn't use normally. And uh, just embrace that we are able to be outside and enjoy our outdoor spaces and have a little bit of fun. So for more inspiration on outdoor decor or how to decorate your inside in a small space, please visit my website at www.lisacanning.ca where I write the blog Blueprints for a Beautiful Life.